Welcome back to the Patrick Regan Show. Jumping in a little early on the song there, YouTube. Not that I don't like YouTube Desire, but um, got a lot we're trying to cram into the show this week. Anyway, what I wanted to jump into this segment was this whole thing about... I'm sitting here looking at the news and looking at these hearings and all this outrage being expressed, and I just... I just can't get this out of my head that the hypocrites are out in force <laughs> with all this news about the spying that has been occurring in this country, all this Verizon news. And now this news that, hey, we're also on the Internet providers and, and getting their information with all this coming out. We have conservative commentators that are screaming and crying how this could happen and how Obama is behind all of this. Now, they same these are the same people that were pushing this sort of thing back in 2001. We need to have the Patriot Act passed. We have to have it. We can't fight terrorism without it. So, just to refresh your memory, the original act in the Senate was passed October 24, 2001. 98 senators voted in favor of it. Senator Landrieu, Democrat Louisiana, did not vote. Senator Russ Feingold, He's a Democrat, Wisconsin, was the only senator who voted against it. Over in the House, you had 211 Republicans that voted yes for this and three no's. Democrats voted 145 yes and 62 no's. One independent each was voting yes and you had one voting no. Now, when it came back up for reauthorization on March 2nd, 2006 in the Senate, we still had 89 U.S. Senators vote in favor of the Patriot, Patriot Act reauthorization. Now, Senators voting against it, amazingly, let's see here. Yeah, every one of them is a Democrat, except one who's an independent, which is Jeffords. Might as well be a Democrat. <laughs> a Kaka, Democrat, Hawaii, Bingaman, Democrat, North New Mexico, Byrd, Democrat, West Virginia, Feingold, again, Democrat, Wisconsin, Harkin, Democrat, Iowa, Jeffords, Independent, Vermont, Leahy, Democrat, Vermont, uh, Levin, Democrat, Michigan, Murray, Democrat, Washington, and Wyden, which isn't surprising, Democrat, Oregon, it's not surprising he would vote against it, and uh, Senator Inouye, a Democrat, Hawaii, he didn't vote. But and the next day, the House of Rep Representatives voted, and they had 214 yeses and 14 noes. Well, it was the Republicans, 214 yeses, 14 noes. Democrats voted 66 yes, 124 noes, and one independent voted no. So all these people are now screaming about how they can't believe this legislation was misused this way. How can the government be getting away with all of this? And you guys were the exact people pushing for this when Bush was in office. And anyone who spoke against it, you called crazy. They were sympathetic towards terrorism. Dr. Ron Paul stood there in Congress and gave speech after speech about how this was bad legislation, how the government could not be trusted with this power. And all these conservative commentators made fun of him, made fun of the libertarians for opposing these types of overreaching and intrusive and, more importantly, blatantly unconstitutional pieces of legis legislation. Now all these conservatives are now bemoaning the fact that government agencies have been caught targeting conservative groups. The IRS, the EPA, and now the NSA. And even more that I'm sure are yet to be brought out. And, and I'll go just go ahead and name Rush, Hannity, Levin, all these conservative hypocrites who preach from a limited government Bible, yet hypocritically advocate for the trampling of the rights of people when it serves their party when their guy is in office, or in these cases, screaming about it when their guy isn't in office. I know they have shows on this radio station, but I'm, I'm not going to excuse their behavior just because we share station call letters. That would make me a hypocrite, someone who's a, who is excusing behavior that goes against my principles. And I refuse to be that way. And that's why you can rely on this show, the Patrick Riggins Show, to be faithful to our core principles of libertarianism of treating people like they are adults, of letting people do what they wish as long as they aren't infringing on someone else's rights. 
Now, these conservatives are trying to paint these candles as this is how liberal government works. No, this is how all government works, period. If given enough time, all government will try to eventually enslave their populations. Look at history. Our founders did and realized they needed to set some boundaries. Otherwise, we'd have problems. Now, yes, I'm riding the conservatives a little bit hard, but I expect more out of them. The liberals want total control. They want a police state. The conservatives preach this limited government sermon until they're in office. When they win elections, all that talk goes straight out the window. The liberals don't mind having the government rifling through your trash or looking at your emails or listening in on your phone. As long as it's getting done towards conservatives, although some of them are starting to come around. Look. I listen to the other talk shows during the week and a lot of times just laugh at how two-faced these show hosts can be. You know, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and I give Rush a hard time because he's the leader of the conservative movement. And this week he was having an absolute fit about all this domestic spying. And it wouldn't be, it'd be funny if it wasn't so sad. And he was one of the cheerleaders to pass this Patriot Act, the very law under which most of all of this outrageous behavior has been occurring. All these liberals who were opposing this, they were siding with the terrorists. Or they were just trying to oppose President Bush. And I'm sure there was a lot of that to that. Now that the situation is reversed, the conservatives are screaming about it, and the liberals are saying it isn't a big deal. Everything being done is allowed by the law. Heck, they even say it's because George Bush signed the original law. That's why Obama is just doing what his predecessor did. I guess Obama didn't have parents that told him two wrongs didn't make a right or that if George Bush jumped off a bridge, would Obama do it too? Apparently he will. And if he does, it isn't his fault. He's only following what Bush did. So it's really Bush's fault. If all this doesn't make you seriously question your political affiliations, question who it is you vote for all you conservatives. If you are concerned about where this country is heading, then more than likely you're really a libertarian. But for some reason, you fear having that label. Either you don't want people to think you're some dope-smoking hippie or some pacifist war protester or what. Just man up, stand up, and be counted. Start supporting libertarian candidates because they're the only ones left who believe in the true original American ideals of freedom and liberty. For those of you who are conservatives and you say, but you also believe in big government... And that would mean you don't see anything wrong with having government and citizens' lives on a daily basis. You think the size of government for the better part of a half century or more has been just fine. That only lately has government gotten out of control. Then you, my friend, are a liberal. You aren't a conservative. You're a government knows best liberal. You can label yourself a conservative, but when you start telling me your positions on issues... I immediately can peg you as a government solutions person. A conservative believes in having the government dictate behaviors and ideals to the American citizens in a way they agree with. They don't believe in giving the individual unrestricted choice in living their lives. They believe in telling others how to live. Not totally, but still believe in government knowing best. On the other side, a libertarian believes that adults can make their own decisions for themselves. If those decisions aren't infringing on anyone else's rights, then that's the only bar that needs to be hurdled. And this is how our founders wanted it. This is why they set up the government the way they did. But if we aren't going to hold government accountable, if we aren't going to make government follow the Constitution, then why even have it? You can't allow government to have an inch of power more than given to it in the Constitution. Because government will always, always push for more. They'll try to outgrow the constraints that have been placed on it. Now, our founders were smart enough to know human nature, to know how humans would act when given power over others. Now, combat this, they limited government and how much it could do. But if we don't enforce those limits, then why have them at all? This isn't the first time we've had scandals in government. Every time something like this comes out, we get outraged, but then nothing substantial ever happens. Yeah, I hate how the government's spying on people, but don't ask me to do anything about it. I don't have to go vote. 
I don't have to take the time to go to a rally to support a libertarian candidate who believes in less government. I don't have to do all that. That's the problem. That's the type of thinking that isn't going to fix what's wrong. We're going to have to band together to elect people who will fight this sort of thing, fight to roll back government. Congress could fix this again. Like I said, they could fix it tomorrow. Vote to shut all this down. Vote to stop all this government intrusion. But they don't want it to end. I'll tell you what they do want. They want the media coverage of it to end. Because if they truly wanted to do something about these scandals, they would. But they're not. And that's why it's up to us to, to get people in office who will do something about it. All right, we're up on the bottom of the hour break already here on the Patrick Riggins Show. Coming up next um, segment, oh, we have a bunch of stuff. We're going to talk a little bit more about the spying, and, and we'll try to hit on this nullification that I tried to hit on last week. We'll see if we can get started on that. Coming up in the next half hour of the Patrick Riggins Show.